Hi, this is Miss Torres, and I'm going to read you a nonfiction story called The Best of the West. In this story, you are going to learn about some of the important places in the American West. Who knows, you might also see a picture of me too. The American West is a special place to visit in our country. It has exciting cities, high mountains, and amazing wildlife. Let's take a tour of four famous spots in the West. Do you know the word for a crack deep in the ground with the river at the bottom? It's called a canyon. The Grand Canyon is a huge canyon in Arizona. Many people visit this national park each year. Visitors can enjoy the view or hike down the canyon. Some people raft on the Colorado River and look at wildlife. One animal is the California condor, the largest flying bird in North America. If you hike the canyon, be careful of the weather. It might be cold at the top, but the temperature at the bottom can be 100 degrees. And this is me at the Grand Canyon. Where in the West can you see bison, moose, and grizzly bears? And where can you see a natural fountain that sprays water more than 100 feet in the air? These are in Yellowstone National Park. Yellowstone was the very first national park in the United States. It is an amazing place to explore. Under the ground of Yellowstone is hot, liquid rock. Yellowstone is covered with spots where hot water, mud, and steam push up from underground. These areas are called hot springs. Pools of hot water bubble up from underground. Yellowstone also has hundreds of geysers, more than any other place on Earth. Geysers are like hot springs that erupt with steam and water. The Old Faithful geyser erupts about 20 times each day. It sprays water high into the air. Have you ever heard of the word safari? On a safari, you travel through the land and look at animals. Yellowstone is a great place in the United States to go to on a safari. As you drive through the park, you will see bison, bears, moose, and elk up close. If you're lucky, you may even spot a wolf or a bald eagle. Check out this picture that Mr. Lavelle took when he went to Yellowstone National Park and visited the Old Faithful. Wow, look at that geyser. Now we will travel north to the city of Seattle, Washington. From different spots in the city, you can see a strange white building poking into the sky like a giant needle. This is the Seattle Space Needle. The Space Needle is 605 feet tall, which is taller than most buildings. It looks like an object from outer space. You might wonder at the purpose of this building. It was built for the 1962 World's Fair, an important event that happened in Seattle. The fair's planners wanted to build something new and different. They wanted people to say, wow, when they saw the building. The Space Needle is made out of concrete. To make the underground base or its foundation, 467 cement trucks poured concrete for an entire day. Now, let's head to the top of the needle. A quick ride in the elevators will get you there in less than a minute. At the top, you can see the entire city of Seattle. You can also see natural sites such as Lake Washington and Mount Rainier. Finally, you can eat at the moving restaurant. It moves slowly in a circle to show people the whole view of the city. Here is my sister, Maria, at the top of the Space Needle. Isn't that cool? The final stop on our tour is a famous bridge in the state of California. Can you guess what it is? Here's a hint. It is bright orange. Hmm. Well, it's the Golden Gate Bridge. When it first opened, it was the longest bridge in the world, almost one mile. The Golden Gate Bridge is the boat entrance to San Francisco Bay from the Pacific Ocean for cars, walkers, and bicyclists. The bridge is a way to connect the city of San Francisco with other places in California. Many people cross the bridge to get to and from work every day. The first thing you might notice about the Golden Gate Bridge is its color. The color is called International Orange. The orange color was chosen to fit in with the bay's natural beauty. Some people wanted to use different colors. 
For instance, the U.S. Navy wanted the bridge to be black and yellow so that it would stand out. What do you think of the orange color? Since it was built, the Golden Gate Bridge has been closed only three times. People built the bridge to last a very long time. This incredible bridge turned 75 years old in 2012. And here's a picture of me when I got to walk across the Golden Gate Bridge. It was a long walk, but it was really fun. Now that you've learned about four spots in the West, use the pictures to tell you what you see. So I'd like for you to tell me where are we in the picture? Can you do it for all four stops? Let's see.